Alright, hey guys, and welcome back to another video. I am the Twisted Jedi, and in today's video, we are going to have a complete hero guide for the Chosen One, Anakin Skywalker. That's right, the newest hero to the game is finally getting a hero guide from me, and these are going to give you all my tips and tricks, as well as all the best star cards, and a few other things to look at, like ability combinations and ways to get kills real easy, and do the best you can possibly with Anakin Skywalker. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump right into it in just a second. If you want to see more hero guides for tips, and things like that on them definitely check out the channel i will leave a link down in the description to my hero guides for you guys to check out after this but for right now let's jump straight into the chosen one anyways anakin comes with three appearances to start off his jedi knight which is his base appearance the jedi robes and hopefully coming soon the general skywalker appearance now i prefer the standard jedi knight look to the robes but if they give us the general skywalker appearance you guys know i'm gonna be rocking that all day every day and that's pretty much the appearance i've been waiting for we got it for obi-wan kenobi so hopefully we get it for Anakin as well. Anyways, getting into his stats, he has 800 base HP, which can be boosted with a star card up to a thousand health, which is absolutely ridiculous. That is the highest of any of the heroes, even higher than Darth Vader. So it can be said right now that Anakin is definitely one of the most powerful heroes. I think in my opinion, he is definitely the most powerful hero. And if anyone disagrees with that, you probably should play Anakin a little bit more or you're not playing him correctly. So hopefully this guide helps you. Anyways, he has 350 HP as a regen pool so he can take a fair bit of damage and still get all the way up to full health and if you have the health on kill cards obviously that is going to help as well he does 140 damage to the front and 180 from behind but again there are some star cards that can boost that up which we will talk about in just a minute now getting into his abilities the left ability is called passionate strike this is where anakin unleashes a heavy strike breaking his opponent's guard and dealing high damage now the good thing about this is it brings balance to heroes versus villains there's been a lot of issues with the lightsaber combat system that has block spammers and things like that. I'm sure you guys have all experienced it because I know I have a bunch. So Passionate Strike being able to break a block is one of the best things that's happened to Battlefront 2. Hopefully the lightsaber rework allows us to do this in next month, but for now Passionate Strike is the way to go if you are facing a block spammer on the dark side. His second ability is Pull Dominance, which is L1 and R1 or your middle ability depending on platform. Anakin pulls enemies in front of him to a center point, leaving them open for attacks. Now the good thing about this is like it says it pulls them to a center point so it basically lands the enemy right at Anakin's feet. This makes it extremely easy to continue with a follow-up attack and wipe out any enemies that drop at your feet. The third ability is Heroic Might and that is the right ability. This is where Anakin is more resistant to attack while holding the ability. When released he pushes enemies away from him the range and strength of his attack being multiplied by the damage he would typically be susceptible to. So basically how this works if you guys haven't figured it out yet which I'm sure most of you have, the more damage Anakin takes while Heroic Might is charging up, the more damage he puts out on the other end. I've seen some absolutely crazy plays with this ability, including some from myself where Anakin just wipes out complete squads, full teams of heroes versus villains, Iden, Bosk from full health, all of them in one go. It's absolutely ridiculous. So this ability is definitely super powerful. Make sure if you guys see Anakin charging this up, don't shoot him, just run away. Do yourself and your team a favor and just get out of there. Now the fourth and final ability, which is rare and only to Anakin Skywalker, is called Retribution. Anakin's powers intensify whenever he and any nearby allies are attacked, building towards the ultimate punishment of a swift and inescapable grip, seizing all enemies around him. So basically guys, this is a 360 force choke. Absolutely god odd tier ability this can wipe out whole squads same as heroic might does but instead of being shot at you pretty much just pick up everyone that is around you and they become useless they can't shoot you they can't do anything and if they're stuck in retribution they're pretty much gonna die unless they're a hero so make sure you guys use this whenever you get the chance in big groups of enemies now the next bit i want to get into is some attacking combinations that will help you with your gameplay the first combination is pull dominance to a lightsaber swing this is going to take out any infantry including heavy this is great for ga because it's going to help you out in kill streaks and things like that. You don't have to worry about rolly boys too much when using this because the enemy is usually going to be dead before they get a chance to do anything. The next one is pull dominance to passionate strike. This is a great one for heroes versus villains. You pull your enemy in closer and then use passionate strike because most enemies once they get yanked towards you will put up a block and try to defend themselves. So using passionate strike as a second movement is definitely going to be a good one to use against heroes. The third tip is going to be pull to shortened heroic might. Now what I mean by a 
shortened heroic might is you can activate this and then let it go right away so it is just a quick one there's no charge up time it's basically instant and if you do this it's also an instant wipe to any infantry so you can pull them over to your feet and if there's a couple of them and you don't think you're going to get them all with a lightsaber swing heroic might is probably the way to go to wipe out all the enemies that are in front of you the fourth tip for combinations is going to be passionate strike to heroic impact basically break the enemy's block and then use a heroic might to knock them off their feet this is going to do a lot of damage because you're essentially knocking them down twice once with passionate strike and then following it up with heroic might this is going to be great against heroes and it's going to take out any infantry as well although passionate strike should kill most infantry in one go anyway so it's more of a use on heroes and the final attacking combination is a bit more of a complex one this is a pull dominance to passionate strike to heroic impact so this uses all three abilities in combination and it's going to be super effective in heroes versus villains pull the enemy over towards your feet knock them off their feet and break their guard block with passionate strike and then follow it up with a quick heroic impact it's good for max damage really in a short period of time and you can follow up with a couple of strikes after that to finish them off so these are all the attacking combos you should be using next up we're going to be getting into star cards for anakin and pretty much i run the same star card setup for galactic assault and heroes versus villains as well we start off with tenacious which gives anakin skywalker 200 more max health which puts him up to a thousand like I mentioned before. In my opinion, you should always have this star card attached if you want to be the most successful with Anakin in Battlefront 2. The second card I have attached usually is Massive Strikes. At epic level, this gives 25 more damage to each of his regular lightsaber swings, and it's very effective in Galactic Assault as well as Heroes vs. Villains because of that damage output. It's going to wipe out infantry in one hit, and a heavy will be two only just. If you attack the heavy from behind where he gets bonus damage, you will wipe them out in one swing of the lightsaber so very effective and very useful in both game modes the third card i do use is called reprisal and this is going to be the regular health on kill card you guys know how this works basically 20 health regeneration from any infantry kill and 120 to any hero that is killed by anakin skywalker which is a big boost the highest out of all of the heroes in terms of regeneration so that one you definitely want to be using as well now in terms of switching any of the star cards out if you don't want to use that lineup i would switch massive strikes out for control the four which gives the base radius of heroic might a bigger area of effect so this can hit more enemies because there is a larger area this is going to be great for enemies that are kind of a bit more spread out and attacking you from a bit further distance so this one could help but personally i prefer having massive strikes attached so far the best maps without using endor and kashyyyk which we know are the kill streak maps for anakin skywalker are going to be naboo the second phase and the throne room are ridiculously good for anakin's set of abilities he can use heroic might and retribution and pretty much wipe out full squad at the end of the day so that's where you want to be using those abilities the most in terms of a sequel map i would pick star killer base again the top of the staircase is very effective for his ability set and then death star 2 or hoth if i was going to pick an original trilogy map they just seem very well suited to his play style but in saying that you can pick anakin on any map and probably do really well he's just that good in the game right now so basically pick him whenever you get the chance because he is so powerful he's going to do well on any level now a couple of tips to get into before we get into the bugs to be aware of the tips are going to be turn off your lightsaber in galactic assault i say this with every hero guide that i do for a lightsaber hero or villain this is going to give you a huge advantage and sneaking up on enemies people don't always check the radar so make sure you don't give them that glowing lightsaber to give them a heads up that you're running towards them jump into heroes versus villains to level up faster and get your star cards maxed out once you get them maxed out then i would get into galactic assault and things like that but it's personal preference really if you don't need the high level to get some good gameplay with anakin then jump right into GA, but I prefer to level them up and get a few star cards attached first. Next up, you want to utilize heroic impact and retribution in crowded areas. Like I mentioned a minute ago, Naboo outside the palace or inside the throne room is where you want to be doing it. This is going to be the best spot to do it and you're going to wipe out tons of enemies. The more people that shoot at you, the more damage you're going to do. And with retribution, you're going to immobilize basically anyone in its radius. So these are the best spots to use it when you get the chance. In terms of using the bonus damage star card that is going to be one that helps you to avoid the rolly boys you guys know how frustrating these guys can be so make sure you use this card to avoid that happening and if you are up against a heavy that's going to take two hits to kill them make sure you swing once do the damage give him a second to roll and then hit him again and the last tip is probably obvious with all of the newer heroes that have been added to battlefront 2 attack from behind whenever possible you get that bonus damage output and it's going to be much easier to wipe out an enemy now in terms of bugs to be aware of anakin can get stuck in heroic might so be careful when using it 
I've found that if you hold the right ability button, sometimes it can get stuck more often. If you just tap it, let it charge and then tap it again, usually you're going to be okay and not going to get stuck. So make sure you guys test that out. If you get stuck, you, there's nothing really you can do at this point. It's just a bug that needs to be fixed. So hopefully that'll get sorted very soon. Also in saying that the 90% damage reduction doesn't always work when using retribution or heroic might. So be aware that if you use it, sometimes you're going to take a lot of damage and most likely die. This has happened to me a few times, even on stream. So be aware that this can happen. And the last bug to be aware of after the chosen one update is going to be that blocking doesn't always work. Now this isn't purely just for Anakin. This is for all lightsaber heroes. There have been times where the blocking just stops working and you end up getting swing spam to death. So be aware if you do stop blocking and you can't get it to restart, then make sure you dash away and try and get out of there until it can be reset. Anyways, guys, that's everything for the Anakin hero guide. If we do get any changes in the future, I will look to do a follow-up guide. Basically, if they choose to nerf him or not, I will do a follow-up if I think it is necessary. So basically, before I get out of here, if you guys want to check out some more hero guides, there's plenty on the channel already and there's definitely more to come. So if this video helped you and you're brand new, make sure to subscribe to the channel and comment down below which hero guide you guys want to see next and I will start working on it right away. If this video helped you guys out, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below and I will see you all in the next video. As always, thank you so much for watching. I am the Twisted Jedi and may the force be with you always.